Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I know that uh, today is really not the best day to be happy, and it's hard for me to be happy right now, uh, but because uh, um, one of my favorite actors of all time has just passed away, uh, Robin Williams, and it's possible that it was a suicide, and I really hope not, um, because he literally had millions upon millions upon millions of loving fans and his daughter Zelda, I mean I'm sure who loved him very very much and I regardless of how he died I don't want to be sad because I know that he lived an amazing life I know that it was very hard for him at many points in his life but he has made life so much easier for many people, including myself. And he's uh, someone that I really, really looked up to. And I saw him, you know, coming back more often recently. I saw him on a couple YouTube videos, and I was really excited that, you know, maybe, just maybe, if I become popular enough, I might be blessed. I might be so lucky to be able to speak with him one day and just talk to him just be able to be in his presence and be able to speak with him and um, that will never happen now and although I although I'm not for some reason I'm, I'm not as disappointed in that as the fact that it's just the fact that he's gone and I'll never, you know, see anything new that he'll be able to create because he's such a, he's such a brilliant man. He's he is a brilliant man now, and he always will be. And he, uh, <clears throat> anyway, I don't want to talk more about that because I think it's better to celebrate him. For the incredible man that he is, instead of being upset, because I think he would rather, I mean, I don't know him at all, but just from what I know about him, from his interviews and his talks with people, and maybe even his movies, that he would rather have it that way. I could be wrong, but that's the way I, I think. So, anyway, enough about that. Uh, let's continue. <clears throat> um, in the battle arena this week, I have not checked it, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, win Narlope. Am I going to get anything else decent? Three Epic Defiance, three Magical Heals. Really, only the Magical Heals are really worth it in the 15 gems, because for some reason I haven't been getting that many gems recently, uh, and I need to get some more gold, so, um, let me, uh... I should do the daily arena, to be honest. It's a better it's a better reward. Right now, for the next couple of hours, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be only another four or maybe three hours, unfortunately. I'm sorry, it's kind of a late video, I know that. But by the time this video goes up, there will, there will probably only be about three hours left to get this Miskrit, and its name is Foil Rockadile. Uh, a lot of people really like that Miskrit. Um... I don't know if I have a foil rocket dial or not. It's possible that I don't. Um, but if I, but either way, it's a good thing to do the daily arena because I was really high. In fact, I was in like the top 40. And where am I now? Uh, I'm 64, so I, I haven't dropped that many places. Top 11%, top 2%. So I'm still doing pretty good. I'm gold in the daily arena, and it looks like I'm sticking there. Uh, I definitely need to do a lot more battle arena fights, at least 45 more. That'll easily be gold, and then I have a lot of more platinum arena fights to do. Uh, in fact, well, I kind of want to stop the search and see if I can... <coughs> I want to check something real quick, but uh, I'll wait until the battle ends, and then I'll check. So uh, I'm definitely going to get these guys to level 10 this video. That will happen this video. I promise you that. 
so I will make this video long if I have to. They will get to level 10. Um, well, maybe even higher. If I'm lucky, I'll get them to level 11, but at the very least, I promise you I will get them to level 10. So, uh, I am upset about the things I mentioned earlier, but I had a very good day today. Um, I hung out with my friend Pikachu, which I haven't done in a long time. Um, I was hoping he would stay a lot later. Uh, I was hoping that he would help me with make a Galaxy Legion video. I was hoping he would help me make a League of Legends video because of the two things that we've talked about doing for a long time. Unfortunately, neither one of those got done, but we had a great time. We played some Pathfinder, and we talked and caught up. We haven't hung out in like two months, and that was awesome. My friend Stefan came over, and we had a great time, you know? Um, so... There's this new game that I keep talking about uh, that I am going to make a video of. I just haven't got around to editing it. I'm very sorry. It is coming. I promise. A lot of things are promising this episode here. Promising I'm going to hit level 10. Promising I'm going to release that video. Uh, but they are happening. And the Miskirts review, I'm going to start... Um, that Miskirts review that I was working on, I haven't touched it in a long time. But I know my 100th SK episode is coming up, and the fact that I just hit 80 in Volcano Island is making me realize, you know, Jay, you gotta, you gotta work on this, you gotta get it done. So, um, another promise, I promise I'm gonna be working on that again. Uh, and it most likely, most likely will be the 100th video for my Sunfall Kingdom series. So, um, I really hope that you guys will enjoy that. <clears throat> but uh, we'll see how it turns out. If it's if it's good and if you guys like it, I might I will probably make more. Uh, but it's definitely something that takes a long time, and I need to get back on because of the time that it takes. <laughs> um, my uh, headset is breaking though, by the way, and I know that that's no, of no relevance to you guys. But if for some reason I you don't see any videos for a while. I will probably make an announcement if my headset breaks, but my headset is breaking, and it's a really, it's really about to break, and like it's already gone out of me a couple times, and I'm and I keep checking it to make sure that it's still recording, and I hope, really hope it doesn't just stop recording, um, but I'm gonna get a new headset. Um, what I want is I either want a headset that's wireless, that way. I don't have to worry about the wire, you know, obviously, <laughs> wireless, don't have to worry about the wire, um, or I want an actual microphone, not a headset. So I'm going to go online and, and look at both of those. I was going to do it <clears throat> uh, over the weekend, but I've been really busy this weekend. I've been really busy a lot these, like, past, like, this past, like, week and a half. I have not had much free time at all with work and everything, and trying to find a new job, and everything going on uh, in my life. I mean, I have not had a lot of free time at all. In fact, I actually had someone get really mad at me on my fan page. The funny thing was, they got really frustrated at me. All because I didn't respond to them in, like, six hours. They gave me, like, six hours to respond to their message, and they were, like, so angry that I didn't respond to them in that six-hour time period. And I was, I was like, I could have been doing anything. I could have been asleep. I could have been at work, you know, I mean, there's anything that I could have been doing in six hours, but, uh, he sent me some really, me like, mean messages, he was like, you know, don't act like you're famous because you're not ignoring people like this, and I was like, I'm, I was just busy, like, I have a life, <laughs> I mean, I have things I do, um, so, that's how it is. Um, I'm really considering getting a Patreon, um, people keep talking about it, people are saying that I should do it, and I should get it, so I think I will get it, I just need to look into it and see how it's done, um, but it sounds like a really awesome thing, if you guys are willing to help me with that, it see it, it sounds really awesome, and if, like I said, if you guys are willing to help me with that, I would just be blown away, it would just be incredible, so, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and, I don't know, um, my Let's Watch Anime series is going pretty well, I haven't, uh, I mean, not amazingly well, but it's going alright, I have not started watching Kurokami, <laughs> truth be told, I haven't started watching Kurokami, but then again, 
I finished Long Horizon in like three days. Like <laughs> I started watching Long Horizon on like Tuesday, and I finished the entire series on Thursday. And because I can just when I get into the anime, I can get into the anime, you know. Like, phew, I just keep on watching it. Um, and I mean, that's awesome in my opinion. And I hope you know. I hope and I know that there are a lot of people like me out there like that. That. You know, maybe they take a while to get into something, but once they get into it, you know, it's like, oh man, this is freaking awesome, I don't want to stop. Um, I hate waiting a week for Sword Art. Oh my god, Sword Art Online 2, Gun Gale Online, make your episode faster, oh my goodness. Like, it makes me, it honestly makes me want to, like, wait a month to wait for a new episode, and I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. A new Doctor Who is starting soon? Oh my god, mind exploding! Ah, oh, Sword Art and Doctor Who? I don't even know. Like, every week is just going to be, like, a nerdgasm for me. And I'm just going to be like, my mind is going to be like, blah, 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 and just blowing up from all the awesome nerdy stuff I'm going to be watching. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm so excited, though. I'm really looking forward to it. And, uh, lots of, lots of cool stuff to look forward to. Um, I like this. This is a lot better pacing than the beginning of the video. Sorry about the sadness. I wasn't trying to make anyone depressed, <laughs> but I know I probably did. Uh, alright. Level 10! Level 10! What have you accomplished, Lee Casanova? Not very much, apparently. But, whatever. I liked... This is probably my favorite form out of all of his forms. I really like this form. Dark Goldie, and give me your platinum, Dark Goldie. If that is your real name. Nice. 53, look at that. That's a lot of health, 53 HP. That's really ha that's really nice to see, a level 10. Um, so what I was going to check was to see if Elite Mama is still in the shop. Yes, she is, because I want to buy her uh, before she goes away. So my goal is to get another 108 Platinum as fast as possible so that I can buy Elite Mama. So we'll see how that goes, but that's my plan at the moment. I don't know how well that's going to work. <laughs> um, oh well. Ah, uh, man. And Mr. Mini Mag is looking like he's making some changes. It looks like he's going to be doing a fan fiction soon? I don't know what's going on with that, but he's doing some thing where if you sign a contract, you can win $30. Um, it's on his Daily Arena site where he shows what Miskrit is in the Daily Arena. People keep asking me that question. I'm getting that question a lot recently. How do I know um, what Miskrit is in the Daily Arena? It's because about an hour after the Daily Arena changes, Miskrit Media Mag will have gone through, he will have completed it, and he'll find out what the new Miskard is. He, I guess he gets on every single day, and he, I know he has a team of at least two people, so I guess it's, you know, either one can do it. Maybe they switch off every day, and maybe they just both do it. I don't know. Um, but they, uh, about an hour, about 45 minutes to an hour after the Daily Arena resets, you can check their website, and um, they will have announced the new daily miscrit for that day and I will leave a link to that in the video description below you'll see it right underneath it'll probably be like all my stuff for me for my like my fan page and stuff like that and then underneath that it'll probably be the link to the website that I always check uh, to see what the new miscrit is so if you're wondering that's how I do it <laughs> Um, all thanks to Mr. Mania Mag. Really awesome guy, and uh, he just hit 1 million views. That's really awesome. He gave away Patchkin for his 1 millionth view. That was, like, a really cool gift. I want to know, how do they do that? I, I sent him a message, actually, because um, he sent me a message, and he said, you know, hey, we just hit our 1 millionth view, and we wanted you to share in our celebration, and here's free Patchkin. So he did actually, he actually messaged me personally, and sent me the link, and that was really cool. And I really was like, whoa, thank you, that's really awesome. Um, but I messaged him back, and I was like, hey, how did you do that? 
because I'm getting really close to 5 million views. I am. I'm getting really close to 5 million views. Uh, it's close. It's getting there. And I'd like to give something away at 5 million views. I'd be really thrilled to do something like that. But I don't have a lot of money. I can't really do it. But if nothing else, if nothing else, at 10,000, I, I will hold the contest. Like I used to. I used to hold a contest. And I'll probably do fan fiction again, maybe. That'd be nice. Uh, not fan fiction. <laughs> well, fan pics. Fan art. <laughs> not fan fiction. <laughs> I don't. I don't even want to know some of the twisted stories I might read, or maybe I do. I don't know. But oh my goodness, fan fiction. Oh, oh man, I shouldn't have said that. I'm worried I'm actually gonna get some fan fiction now. But there's definitely some changes that I want to make. I really want to get a PO box so if you guys can send me stuff. I really want to start the Patreon so that you guys can uh, help me out if you want to. There's no obligation to whatsoever. Um, I will see if I can make it. I'll, I'll try. I'll have to look at Patreon because I've heard people are doing this on Patreon, but I heard that you can release videos early to the people who give you money in Patreon. And if that's possible, I would love to do that because that would be a really awesome thing. So it's not only are they helping me out and making you know giving me support into making videos, but they're also I'm also, like, kind of returning the favor by, you know, letting them see the video before anybody else. So, um, I don't know. And so that's that's what my plan is. So, lots of, you know, lots of things going on in my head right now. And, uh, uh, so, uh, and I know, there's some, oh, there's so many, there's so much stuff I'm doing. There's so much stuff I'm doing, and I promise that, you'll enjoy some of the stuff that's going to happen. I, I promise that. I, I will uh, make another video of Grawl Era online because people have been asking a lot about that. Uh, I will eventually play Clash of Clans. I just need to re-download Blue Stacks or something so I can play it because <laughs> um, I don't have an iPad. If I could borrow my friend's iPad again, which I know she won't let me, so there's no reason even why I'm asking, <laughs> well, you know, would ask, but I'll attempt, uh, then I could play it on her iPad. But I really, seriously, highly doubt that would happen. She needs it for work, and, you know, she has a lot of work stuff on there. I mean, even though I could guarantee that none of that stuff would be recorded, because I could always edit it later, I don't know. I feel like she would be very skeptical about that, and would probably turn me down. Uh, that actually didn't hurt me nearly as much. You're not, Tripfire. What are you doing? You're not, Tetranova. I have this miscrit though, don't I? Oh, he's doing... He's doing Tetranose of Attack. It's, like, identical. It, like, has the same animation and everything. Miscrits, mis uh, Broken Bowl Studios, come on. That was kind of lazy. That was kind of lazy, okay? You just made a fire moose and gave him Tetranose Attacks. What? It's kind of lazy. Oh, well. Pyrla's Surge. Pyrla's. It's kind of a weird name. Um, I really want to tell you guys the name of the game that I'm going to be getting, but I like I like surprises. And I want you guys to be like anticipated and waiting for it. But at the same time, I don't should be like... Because some people were saying, I hope it's unturned. It's not unturned. That's not the game, and it's not Terraria, and it's not Minecraft. But it's something similar to all those games, and I think it's very cool, and I've had, I've played a lot of it, I've played about 12 hours of it, and it's a, it's a really fun game, and I got it when it was on sale, it was on sale on, it was on sale on Steam recently for only five bucks, um, and that's why I went ahead and picked it up, and it was actually a game that was on my Steam wish list too, so, uh, it was really cool that I, I got it while I was on sale, so that may give it away what it is, but I, hopefully, We'll have the video up today. If not today, I will have it up definitely tomorrow because I, I guarantee you it will be up today or tomorrow. I promise you that. Um, uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying my Aura Kingdom series too, but <laughs> it, 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 
it doesn't seem too well received. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm gonna try and keep that up and see how that goes. Maybe someone will get you know some people will get hooked and keep watching. I'll just have to hope. Um, because my friend Jen has been wanting to do a series with me for a long time, and that was a series that she asked to start with me, and she's a big fan of RPGs, MMORPGs, and that's all she really wanted to do was an MMORPG with me. And uh, so my friend Kibby's Stefan, he'll be playing with us as well uh, in later episodes, and um, that's that. That's a lot. I went over a lot of stuff. I don't even know what the title of this episode is. This is what, I don't even know. I don't even know what the title of this episode is. Oh, title of this episode. Level 11? Level 10? Level 10 Dark Oldie? I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to name it. Level 10 Dark Oldie. If you guys have a better name, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Later.